Hi everybody, this is Dylan from New Boreal Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create volumetric lighting in Blender 2.6. So this is basically what we're going to make, where you have these light rays coming through the window. Um, we've got the nice glow coming from the window, and we've got the shadows and all that jazz. So let's get started. We're going to start with a new file, and we're going to press 3 and 5 to go into orthographic mode press S, Y, and we're going to size it up by 20. Then we're going to press S, X, and size that up by 20. Then we're going to press S, Z, and size that up by 5. Now we're going to move that on the Z axis up to the green line here. And then we're going to move it over so that it's near this camera. And that way we don't have to do a whole bunch of camera moving once we're getting it positioned. Now we're going to delete this lamp here. And we're going to press 1. We're going to go out of wireframe. We're going to uh, select the cube, go into edit mode, and we're going to subdivide it three times. Then we're going to occlude geometries here, this little button. And we're going to select face mode and now we're going to press A to deselect and we're going to select six of these panels here so one two three four five six you can do more if you want just in this tutorial I'm doing six we're going to delete those faces X go to faces and now we've got the basic window now we're going to add a modifier and we're going to solidify it and we'll bring up the thickness. You can bring it to whatever you want. I have it at 0 0.035. And we're going to turn on even thickness as well. So that'll make things a little cleaner. From here, we're going to press one tab. And we are going to go into vertice select mode. B to box select. And we're going to select these sides of the windows. Size it in a little bit. And that'll give the window a little bit more style to it. And we can make those more open if we choose to. Now we're going to press 3. We're going to go into uh, we're going to go out of edit mode. We're going to add a cube. Press Z to go into wireframe mode and G to move the cube. We'll just size it down so that it fits within this window space here. And then we're going to press 1 and we're going to um, press S and on the X axis we'll drag this out and we'll just move it there we'll size it down on the Z I guess so that it's not quite so thick and then we'll just duplicate that and I could do it three times I guess and then we'll do uh, shift D again rotate on the Y axis by 90 degrees and we will press, uh, size that down on the Z so that it's not going so high up there. And duplicate it over here. Duplicate it in the middle and size the middle one up a little bit more so it fits there. All right. And now we can see we've got our window basic shape here. And it doesn't really matter um, how you do the window just as long as you have a window. Now we're going to go into camera mode. We're going to press Shift F to go into free fly mode. And as we can see, we're right by the window here. We'll scoot back a little ways. And we just want to make sure we can see both the window and the floor so we can see the light rays hitting the floor. And now we get to the cool part. We're going to press 3 to go into side view. Z, Shift A, and we're going to add a spot lamp. We're going to move that spot lamp up here rotate on the X and we're just going to make sure that we uh, position it in a way that all the light rays go through the window we're going to size that up a bit and we're going to move it so it's centered right on the window now we'll press Z and we will go to object data make sure your lamp is selected object data uh, show cone I almost said snow cone and uh, We'll just kind of work with it so that the light is going through the window and it's nice and big and beautiful and all that awesomeness. So, I think that'll probably be good. From here, we are going to select Halo 
and we're gonna shoot aliens just kidding we're gonna uh, bring up the step amount to 12 and from there we're gonna go up to samples here to 16 this isn't really important this part the halo and step part that's very important for your light rays but these just de um, depend on your computer and how long you want to take rendering it really doesn't take that much time to render this but um, some computers will take longer than others we're going to tint it just barely yellow and now we're gonna render oh wait we're gonna bring up the actually I'll show you the difference so we'll render this and I have my ambient occlusions on so I'll turn those off real quickly render that and it looks like we have to bring up the uh, the distance on this a lot more so we can actually see the light rays there we go see we can see the light rays now and as you can see these shadows here they're very sharp there's no soft well there's barely softness to them and it it's not exactly a realistic softness so all we're gonna do go out of render and we'll just bring up the softness I usually bring it up around 8 but that's just up to you and now when we render it we have nice soft shadows causing for a much more realistic glow or uh, light right anyway from here we're gonna do the really cool part we're gonna do some compositing so we're just gonna drag down another window go to the node editor whoops node editor we're gonna use the node tree and use nodes we'll zoom in a bit here shift a add and we'll go to filter glare we'll move that filter onto the line so it turns orange and it automatically connects it we're gonna change the streets to fog glow the uh, quality to I usually do high but it, that's up to you uh, threshold to zero the size to nine and mix you just kind of make work with it I usually do 0 0.6 so you can do that too if you want from here we're going to go to the video sequence editor we're gonna press shift a add scene G to move that scene to the very beginning of the timeline shift a add effect strip go down to glow and now we're gonna press N and that'll give us some options to check the glow we'll bring up the quality the blur distance a little bit and that's about all we have to do there now we're just going to render this out and we'll see what our final image is there we go so as you can see we've got a really nice glow around the edges of the window giving it a more realistic factor we've got our light rays and we've got the blur on the floor so I hope this tutorial was helpful um, I come out with a new tutorial every Wednesday so make sure you subscribe to see those leave comments uh, with questions I also have a Facebook page now that um, uh, you can send me questions at to link in the description and I will see you next week thanks for watching